Hello everyone. Great evening to you. My name is Simone Redman. I am a video marketer. I have been doing video marketing since 2014 and I'm here to help lovely home business entrepreneurs how to grow their business and get more sales and get more leads and get more customers that they've always wanted. So I'm excited about this because doing this 30 day live video challenge. Hey Wilbert, how are you? Great evening. And um, I'm excited about this. I'm really excited and I'm just ready to give you all some valuable, value, valuable information tonight. All right, so we're gonna be talking about your brand strategy. And if you are coming on, please introduce yourself where you're watching from, where you're watching this live video from, because I would love, 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 love to know where everybody is watching from. It's really cool, right? Really cool. So your brand strategy, okay, is your promise to your customer, all right? And I don't want to spend too much going live or, you know, talking about an introduction, all, all that good stuff. We're going to make this simple and short and sweet. I'm doing great, Wilbert. How are you today? <laughs> doing great. So I'm going to make this video short and sweet because I don't like long and drawn out live videos. I don't. You know, make it purposeful, right? Make it purposeful. So your brand strategy is your, is your promise to your customer. Okay, so what I mean by your promise to your customer, how are you letting your customer know what your brand is all about? Okay, because when it comes to marketing, you have to have a brand. You have to. Okay, most people feel like it's all about their company or, you know, anything else that they're doing. And it's not. It's all about you. Why you? It's all about you. What are you doing to let people know what is your brand? What are you doing? How are you establishing yourself as a social media person or a... Um, or a blogger or an email person, wherever. Hey, yes, Nashville, my hometown, Wilbert. That's such a great thing. <laughs> it's such a great thing. So great evening to you. And if you are joining in, as I see you all are live, my eyes are so red, y'all, because I'm tired. But I got stuff to do, right? So um, if you're joining in, just please introduce yourself and where you're watching from. I love to say hello to you and acknowledge you on this video today. All right, so... um. When it comes to your brand strategy, you can't be everything to everybody, okay? Remember this, because when you do this, you're marketing to nobody. You're not marketing to anybody. You're trying to be uh, the YouTube person. You're trying to be the Facebook person. You're trying to be the social media guru. Uh, you're trying to be the blogger. You're trying to be the podcaster to your entire audience. And you're, it's okay to do it, but you have to really stick with one brand. You have to be known as what it is that you want to be known for. Are you doing YouTube or are you doing Facebook Lives? Which one is it that you're going to do? You know, is it video in general? Is it social media? Which social media platform are you going to be using? So you have to figure out what is best for your audience. That's the number one thing. You have to figure out what is best for your audience, okay? So with your brand strategy, you have to answer the questions of who, what, where, why, and whom and how, I think it's like six questions, right? That you're gonna be asking your, or you're gonna be targeting to your audience, okay? Six questions. You have to figure out all of that, you all. And um, I'm reading off the notes. Don't judge me, y'all. Don't judge me. It's it's nine o'clock at night. <laughs> nine o'clock at night. So um, if you're gonna be doing that, and how are you gonna be portraying your brand message? You have to figure out, like I said before, what social media networks? Um, what social media networks, what... Are you going to be using YouTube? Or are you going to be using Facebook? Are you going to be using, you know, emails, podcasts, whatever? Okay, and social media is such a broad, broad topic that you really can't, you can't cover all of them, but your audience is going to get confused. So you really have to figure out what is your brand strategy for your business. All right, thank you for sharing this video, you all. I absolutely appreciate you sharing this out. Um, it really means a lot to me. It really means a lot to me as well. So when it comes to defining your brand, all right, there are four questions that you must ask yourself when it comes to you figuring out what your brand is going to be all about. All right, so the first one is, what is your company's mission? What is it that you want your company or your brand to be known for? What is the mission that you're trying to solve? Who are you trying to help? Think of it that way. Who are you trying to help? That's your mission. That should be your company mission, okay? Um, number two, uh-oh, sorry, y'all. What are the benefits and features of your products and services? Okay, so if you are selling, hmm, 
we'll take Wilbur for example. I know that you have you have a soap company. So if you are selling like soaps to people, what are the features and benefits of your soaps to your audience? Okay, who is your target audience? That's we're going to talk about that in another video. But you have to figure out, okay, how can I convey the benefits and the features of my own product to the people that I want to serve? Okay, that's question number two that you have to ask yourself. Question number three is what do your customers already think about you? Okay, do they think that you are one of the nicest persons or nicest people in the world or, you know, you're, you're kind of rude, you're kind of mean, you know, you have to figure this out. What do they already think of you? Okay, and number four, last but not least, what qualities do you want them to associate with your company? Okay, that's very key. What qualities? What is your company all about? What did what do they think? Like, oh my gosh, this this company is helping me achieve this or achieve, you know, a struggle that I have because that's when it comes to your brand strategy. You have to figure out, okay, what is the struggle and how can I convey my brand around my audience's struggle to be the person that they've always wanted somebody to help them with, right? So that is the thing. Thank you for giving me likes and hearts. I see you. Hello, hello, hello. This is so small that I cannot see who it is, but I do really do appreciate you doing that. Um, so things that you need to do in order for you to get the word out about your brand. Now, this is going to be eight steps here that you need to really figure out and how you can get the word out about your brand strategy. Okay. About your brand strategy. Number one, you want to get a great looking logo. Okay, my logo, I actually created it myself. Um, but if you would like to outsource it, which is you know having somebody actually do your logo for you, uh, there are social, there are sites that you can go to. There's Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, and there's also SplashSEO.com. Okay, you can get your logos created there. I would suggest if you're not really ready to spend a whole bunch of money to go to fiverr.com. That's going to be your go-to place. Mostly everything on that site starts at $5. So it's very simple. Very, very simple. Um, uh oh, number two, give me just a second. <laughs> number two is that you want to write down your brand messaging. Okay. What is it that your brand is all about? That's the key thing. What is your brand all about? Number three, you want to integrate your brand in all aspects of your business. So what do I mean by integrate? Integrate is you want to put it on social media, put it on your profiles, uh, put it on your Facebook fan page. If you don't have one, I suggest you create one. Um, you also want to put it in your email signature. Okay, put it in your email signature. That is going to really help you. Okay, so you want to integrate your brand around everything. All right, integrate your brand. Number four, you want to create a voice about your brand. So what do I mean by a voice? Hey, Jasmine, how are you? What do I mean about a voice? How is your brand conveyed? Okay, when people think of your brand, what do they think about? You know, what is it that you're portraying to them? You know, oh, okay, my voice is, um, Hold on, y'all. Thinking. It's so t I'm so tired, y'all. But when it comes to your, you have to create a voice for your brand. So when people see your brand, they're like, oh, okay, well, I know that, you know, Jasmine is doing life tips. Okay. That's something that I know that that's going to be her voice around her brand because her brand is always going to be about life tips. Just like Wilbert, his voice around his brand is going to be about the soaps and the perfumes that he creates to help you give a special feeling for your skin or, you know, your face, whatever it could be. So you have to create a voice for your brand. Um, number five, you want to develop a tagline. You want to develop a tagline. Many people do not have a tagline when it comes to their business. Uh, my tagline is helping entrepreneurs succeed with video marketing tactics, social media strategies, and branding tactics as well. All right. So yes, Jasmine, you need to get in touch with Wilbur. See, we're always making connections. That's why I love doing videos. You're always making connections with someone that you don't even know. So yes, Wilbur does soaps, Jasmine. Um, they're really great. And he is a very dear friend of mine. So you should definitely check him out. All right. Um, number six, you want to design, oh my gosh, <laughs> you want to design templates and brand standards. So the thing is, is that you want to create your logo colors. What are your brand colors? I know mine 
is actually like purple and pink because those are my two favorite colors. Um, but you really have to figure out, okay, when people see that purple and pink logo, they're like, oh, okay, this is a Simone video or, you know, this is a video created by her. Um, I want my logo to be everywhere. So when it comes to your logo, you need to figure out, okay, what type of colors can, you know, really stand out to you. Hey, daddy, how are you? My dad's on this video. I'm excited. Um, so you really need to figure out your logo colors when it comes to your brand. All right. Mine is pink and purple. You'll probably see it quite more often, very, very soon. And um, you want to be true to your brand. Okay. And what I mean by being true to your brand is that if you've already established your tagline, you need to stick with that tagline be true to your brand don't branch off to anything else because your audience is going to get very confused when they see you saying that you are an instagram person but then you're like switching over to snapchat two different two different social media strategies so if you're going to be helping people with instagram snapchat is not going to be your thing okay even though you love it you you probably know everything about it right just like I feel like I know everything about Facebook, but that's not my brand strategy. My brand strategy is video marketing, YouTube, um, YouTube, <laughs> Facebook Live too. Um, I mean, it's just you have to think of it that way because your audience is going to get confused. I was that type of marketer who would jump from things to thing um, when it comes to finding my own brand strategy. So I would like, this is when I started my blog back in um, 2000 and. 15 I believe 16 I believe 16 and I one post would be about Periscope another post would be about Instagram another one would be about YouTube the other one would be about search engine optimization I mean I was everywhere but I had to think okay my brain is video marketing most of my posts on my blog right now at this moment are about video marketing because I have to stay true to my brand many marketers don't do that I get emails every single day from marketers who are like talking about YouTube and then next day they're talking about Instagram it's crazy so you want to make sure that you stick with your brand strategy number eight y'all didn't really tell me my eyes were red gosh I've been wearing glasses all day so I really didn't know um, number eight is that you want to be consistent consistency is key now I will be honest with you all and I'm being very very true I struggle with consistency Reasons why we're doing a 30-day live video challenge every day for the month of May. Um, but you really want to be consistent with your brand. Be consistent with it. If you're going to be, you know, posting something certain times a day, post something certain times a day. If you cannot, there are also auto schedulers that you can use, such as Buffer and Hootsuite, um, that will help you post throughout the day on your profiles to get more engagement, to let people know, like, hey, they are still... Uh, posting stuff like okay if you're gonna be expecting your audience could be expecting a post at six o'clock and it's seven and you still have not posted so those auto schedulers really really help out okay they really help out um, just got to be consistent with it be consistent with it like I know Jasmine does a live video every Wednesday at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern time so she's being she's being very consistent with her brand and I appreciate that because I love it I love that she's like on point every Wednesday at 9 o'clock we're gonna talk about something today so you have to be consistent because your audience is going to be expecting that because now that Jasmine does that every Wednesday I expect the video from her I expect a live notification uh, on my phone, on my phone, saying Jasmine is live with life tips by Jasmine Wednesday, Wednesdays, right? Yes. So you want to make sure that you are being consistent with your brand. All right. So I do appreciate you all for joining me this evening tonight. Um, as I said, I don't believe in live long videos, long live videos, wherever you want to call it, whatever. Um, I just don't believe in going live for 30 minutes. I just I just don't. I'll give you a live video. We'll keep it quick, keep it simple. And um do any does anybody have any questions? Possibly have any questions after this video. Um I just want to make sure that I do answer questions while I'm doing these live videos for the rest of this month. Um so if you have any questions for me specifically about this topic, put them in the comments below. Let me know. Before I go live, y'all, my eyes are so red. I am exhausted. <laughs> I am exhausted, exhausted. So if you don't have any questions, just let me know. Um, give you about another maybe 10, 10 seconds or so. I don't want to waste too, too much 
of your time when it comes to this video today. What's the longest you should do a live video? Great question, Wilbur. I recommend you doing a live video somewhere between five to 10 minutes. 15 minutes if you want to. I think that's the max that you should do it because you have to think live video is a great feature. It's gonna get you more exposure to you, to your brand, but you also have to think of it. Many people on Facebook do not have the attention span to be on a live video for 30 minutes. Facebook's not the place to be if you're trying to do a long video. That's where you need to go over to YouTube where I guess you could say they're more mature. I won't say they're more mature, but you want to make sure that um, you have you have the audience on YouTube to create longer videos and they'll actually watch the longer videos as long as they are engaging enough. But I would say a live video on Facebook, 15 minutes at the max, five to 10 minutes if you can. Like for instance, we have been live for 16 minutes, so that means I'm over my time, but you want to keep it that way. All right, keep it that way, and um, that'll definitely help out for you. So I hope that helps. Hope I answered your question. Um, does anybody have any other questions for me tonight? <laughs> you know, I love doing live videos because I could be myself, and y'all don't judge me, right? So um, if you don't have any other questions for me tonight, um, I will post the replay up on this personal page as well as my fan page and I'm going to be posting this on YouTube as well. Alright, I'm going to have a whole playlist full of all of my live videos. So if you've ever missed one or you are on my channel, um, you can go there, check them out. And I'll also leave a link for my YouTube channel below so if you have not subscribed to it, I highly suggest that you do and um, I will also give a free gift for you all if you would love to learn how to get your first 100 subscribers on YouTube I have a free ebook download just for you I'll put that in the comments below um, once I'm done with this video as well as above the video as soon as this is over so I want to thank you all for joining me on tonight's live video I will see you tomorrow have a good night everybody